blizzarding outside. For reference, it's Halloween today. I have not winterized the cabin and the water's on and I already know that that was irresponsible of me. So I have to go over there today and probably saw some pipes and drain them all. So I'm gonna go do that. But first I need to get all my winter clothes out. Okay, here we go. Forgot that I'm going to dinner. We're at a friend's house after the cabin. And it's Halloween, like I said. So um, I, I'm gonna go grab, there's like two mini pumpkins growing in the garden. So I'm gonna grab those and bring those with so we can carve pumpkins. This is the fluffiest snow ever. We should go sledding. That'd be really fun. out my last load of compost. Okay, how freaking cute is this pumpkin? <laughs> it like grew up the trellis. I think it might be kind of rotten. <laughs> That's okay. I'll love you anyway. There's another one here somewhere. Oh, hi. Bright orange. Oh, you're so tiny. Cute. Hi, bud. Oh, all right, buds. Oops, he's gonna have to make a some sort of stem for you. Oh, cold hands. All right. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of I'm loving this because that like dismal fall felt so cold, but this actually feels like oh, it's supposed to be cold, you know? <laughs> so I don't mind it as much. Plus, it's really pretty. I don't know. I'm justifying it to myself. Four-wheel drive car and heat. <laughs> Off like a herd of turtles. And cold. It is so white out right now. So help me if any deer come at me. He was at the top of his game in every way. He had a lot of swagger. I was paranoid. Right? Oh boy. Nobody is plowed. I also haven't figured out how to turn on the four-wheel drive. We're in two-wheel right now, but handling well so that's nice oh hi oh my gosh wow oh my god i'm so excited to be here oh i miss you oh i've got a lot of work to do also the crazy the weather change let me see if the pipes are frozen come on nice we're gonna let those go for a little bit. I'm in cinematic mode, aren't I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so fun to be back here. Wow. First order of business is ramen, because I have not eaten. Got the stove on. Next order of business is making a fire. I actually have this wood stove gas cleaner. I'm gonna try so many mouths. I have heard that if you clean the glass, with newspaper. It's supposed to come off pretty well. Wow, I love when things work. Kind of gross. Pretty good. Now let's make a freaking fire. Oh, so she's in my dear, my darling one. Her eyes are sparkling full of fun. My pretty eyes are The ground she walks upon my pretty Irish girl.
Guys, I gotta be honest. Every time I come here and get distracted, I've literally sat in front of the fire just thinking about what I could be doing in here. And I'll, yeah, I am very mad at myself for not doing anything this summer, but it was my first full summer at my other house. So I am letting myself forgive myself for that. But I am just like, every time I'm over here, I'm like, what could I do? I could do other, I could do things. I like don't quite want to turn the water off yet. <laughs> I'm looking at the pipes and I would really love for them to be re-piped re with, um, there's like this flex tubing, uh, flex pipe. I don't know what it's called. But it's made out of, it's like plastic instead of, um, instead of copper. And so it's less prone to bursting if it freezes, which not to say, like, I still need to drain pipes and whatnot, but it's a lot more practical for winters. Like if I open up the cabin and, you know, don't happen to keep the fire going throughout the night, it's not going to burst. I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll come back and I'll like install a bathtub in the middle of winter. I don't know why that sounds like a good idea here. So that's what's going on right now. My brain is like, I might as well get all the pipes redone. I think I'm gonna take this down. That's where the piping runs to the kitchen. Okay, after further contemplation, I decided that I don't need to think about pipes yet. While I'm here, I do need to bring the outdoor mattress inside the second cabin because as waterproof as it is i don't think it's meant to stay out all winter and i need to put the plastic tarping up over around the porch can't make decisions right now this is hard hard Need to let this warm up by the fire before I can put it on the windows. recommend this or at least do it in the summer when it's warm and easy to move around okay i've completed my two tasks i think i've done what i want to do in here <laughs> which is mostly stare at stuff and then i got like very minimal winterizing stuff done but it was good it was cathartic it was it made me realize i do i want to come back here later this week and get more stuff done and plan more stuff Maybe just spend some time here, because it's really, I mean, I know it's late in the season, but um, it's, I love it here. I really do. All right, I'm going to get out of here, because i got to go to dinner with my friend. Uh, you've met him before, but yeah, I want to carve pumpkins. I'm, I don't know if we have a ton of time, because he has somewhere to be at, like, 7.30, so. Last thing before I go, I, I have this uh, metal from the roofing that I got done two summers ago, and I'm going to bring it with me, because I think I'm going to need it to create, like, a shed for my wood, so... I'm sure that can't be good for the metal. I'm so excited! I'll let you do this. Oh, I'm sorry. No! Did you ever carve a pumpkin before? 
Now that I got the fire started, uh, well, hi, I haven't talked to you yet. Um, I just got back from my friend's house. I slept there because I had some wine, but I got the fire started and I think it's like 7.50 right now. And I have these fire guys, fire guys, fireplace guys come in to bring a stove to me for this room. So in here, I just painted that, like spray painted it, but is a temp fix because I really want this room to have a fire in it and I just I love being able to see the fire and the one in the kitchen you can't see it unless I have the door open so whoop, I figured this room would be super cozy and I never use that fireplace because I'm just like mm, can't even see it anyway they're supposed to be here in like an hour Yoruma radio from Hannah's Pandora Okay, friends, so later in the day because I had to go run errands. So the stove got here. Beautiful. Very excited. Unfortunately, this pipe doesn't work with this stove and it doesn't line up. So I need a 245 degrees to get it over here. And then also the pipe is too small. So I had to buy a pipe, which is very expensive. That was fun. And it was like doing, woo! How was that going? I don't know, I drew a diagram. Oh, I left that in the car. But it was complicated trying to figure out how it was gonna work. Is my head in frame? Who knows? You know what, actually I'm gonna try without the diagram because I don't wanna go outside again. Okay. Like how is that put in there? Avada Kedavra.
Like, I knew that was coming. Why didn't I prepare for it? This <laughs> makes me feel like Voldemort. Okay. I think I can figure this out. I think I can do this. He also told me to build it up. That should be enough. That piece feels wrong. Like, won't smoke escape that way? Maybe, maybe not. Find out when I start a fire. We've got tubes! That doesn't adjust. I'm confused. Because of who I am, I've had a glass of wine and two meetings. <laughs> Late night meetings, but meetings nonetheless and I got chatty and I got talkative and now it's dark out and I still don't know how these go together. I'm gonna figure this out off camera so my editor doesn't kill me. Okay, I know you guys can't see much but I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know how it's gonna work though. I could theoretically go on like that. I don't know. I simply do not know. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh. That makes more sense. Okay. So, what I could do is simply place this here. And I do the slip on the bottom here. I don't think I don't need that extra long pipe. Maybe this goes.